Now, did you know your gut bacteria might already be making natural medicine just from the food you eat? Now, this could be a game changer for people living with Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. Hello, I'm Dr. Pranab. I'm a gastroenterologist here in Dubai, and I help patients with Crohn's and ulcerative colitis manage their condition using advanced care, including the latest insights into the gut microbiome. Now, there's a new study from the journal Cell which has revealed something really exciting. Certain, bac uh, certain bacteria that's in the gut, especially a species of bacteroides, can break down plant compounds called phenolic glycosides. Now, when they do this, they release bioactive molecules that help reduce inflammation and even fight off infections. Now, one of these molecules is something called resveratrol. It's found in grapes and red wine. And in the mouse model, resveratrol, once unlocked by the gut bacteria, actually inhibited Clostridium difficile, which is a really bad infection that follows antibiotic use. Another compound that stood out was salicin, found in willow bark. When digested by your gut microbiome, it changes to salicinin, which is a molecule that was shown to protect against colitis in mice. In fact, mice that received salicinin had significantly less inflammation and damage to the intestinal lining. This is a big deal for patients with Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. It shows us that certain foods when digested by the right microbes can release natural compounds that help calm inflammation and support your gut barrier. But what does this mean for you? If you're living with Crohn's or ulcerative colitis here in Dubai, your microbiome could already be part of your treatment, or it could be working against you. That's why personalized IBD care is evolving. The best treatments may combine the diet, your microbiome, and targeted therapy with all the medicines that's available for colitis. Now talk to your doctor about your diet and how you can help your gut.